Hey, I'm Matt and I'm headed to work. Oh, okay, so my last car rambling video, which I think it says Meyer car rambling video, and I can't figure out how to edit, edit it. Um, to make it say more car ramblings. I talked about how I wanted to pierce my ear up here. Well, I did that. And if you want to see the video, you can go to Budget DIY Guys. And it hurt. And, um, yeah, it probably wasn't the smartest thing for me to do. By my, you know, on my own. Although, technically, my wife did help me. But that's going through cartilage. And I had to shove the needle all the way through. And then we had to fight with it to get the earring in. And then, because it was an earring that's like this, and there's a ball that goes right here. Well, we couldn't get that ball in. So we had to put something else in there, and it was, the stem on it was too small. So when I screwed the ball in there, it was squeezing it. So that hurt. And uh, I went to take it off, the ball off yesterday to um, clean it at work. And I couldn't get the ball back on because of the swelling. So, and I dropped the ball, couldn't find it. So I, uh, yes, I literally dropped the ball. So I had to uh, put a paper clip through it for the rest of the day. Then when I got home, I have one of these. Uh, it's like a circle like this, and it has two spikes on it. You unscrew the spikes. So I put that through there. But I have to sleep on my back or my right side. Oh, right side slash stomach. Because if my left ear touches a pillow, I'm awake. It is sore. It's red. It's kind of warm. I have been cleaning with alcohol several times a day. Um, uh, I don't know if this is going to help or not, but we tend to have a lot of leftover antibiotics at our house, you know, to take for infection. Because, you know, we get feeling better, like, hey. So, um, I've started taking those. I don't know if it's going to help or not, because I'm not, like, a doctor. I don't even play one on TV. But, uh, yeah. It's sore. I mean, it's not, like, an unbearable pain. It kind of... I mean, it doesn't even feel like someone's pinching on your ear. It's just, like... My ear feels, like, warm and pressure on like all around this part of the ear the lower part's fine but around the upper part of my ear it just feels like there's pressure which there is swelling so but uh yeah i'm just gonna keep cleaning it i might have to go to um uh, the mall or something in the hot topic because i'm not sure I know that they sell this type of jewelry, but I might have to spend the money that cost me more than the needle and for me to pierce my ear itself, I might have to spend more money on a surgical earring or um, stainless steel to put in there to try and uh, keep the infection down. I know that uh, silver Actually, back in the day, they used to put in a jug of water to keep the bacteria down because silver actually kills bacteria. So, um, yeah, um, my wife kept saying, she kept going, Matt, if you really want this, we just, we'll go get it done. We'll pay to get it done. I'm like, I'm not paying, you know, 40 bucks to pierce my ear when I can do it for the cost of the needle. I got five of them for a dollar and they're, they're surgical not sure how surgical but they're 12 gauge needles I got five of them for a dollar and uh, I already had earrings so I'm like why am I gonna go pay $40 when I have C5 goes into 100 let's see uh, 20 cents like I got 20 cents in for the needle and then alcohol pads I had laying around but I probably used 50 cents worth of alcohol pads to this point because I got a big box for like two or three bucks. Um, so I got under a dollar 
in my ear, literally under a dollar in my ear. And uh, I did hear that the cartilage piercings, they do hurt. They, they do hurt more than regular piercings. And uh, they, are, they do, are more painful after the fact and they do take longer to heal. So unless it starts getting like funky colors, you know, which I could probably put some, uh, you know, probably put a little Neosporin around the ear, but I have been cleaning it with alcohol. Oh my gosh, why do we get these slow, slow, slow vehicles on the highway? Just out of nowhere, it's like 65, 65, 65, 65, 48. It's like, come on. Not change lanes into that lane. I'm coming. Oh, the guy kept acting like he was gonna come over into this lane. I'm like, no. So, um, but yeah, uh, that was painful. And uh, I know I put that on a DIY channel, but at the start of it, Ronnie says I have recorded Ronnie saying, "Do not try this at home. My daddy's an idiot." And then again at the end, Ronnie says, do not try what you saw in this video because my daddy's a crazy jarhead. Which jarhead is a term for Marines. Because the way our um, dress blues caps fit and the way our um, covers fit, it looks like a jar lid from a mayonnaise. It just, it's the way they fit. They look like a jar lid. So we're called jarheads. But, um... Yeah, uh, I did that more for like legality reasons because uh, I didn't want someone trying it and going horribly wrong and having to get their ear, ear amputated and they'd be like, well, I saw it on this YouTube video. So we told them not to try it at home. So, but yeah, um, so uh, I, if I can remember, I will put a link to the Budgie DIY guys video it's rather funny because, uh, yeah, you hear my wife calling me stupid in it, and I give my explanation how much I hate needles. Yeah, I'm fixing to stick a needle to my ear. So, uh, yeah, if I remember, I will put the link to that video. Um, please, please, please give DIY Budget Guys a subscribe. Um, it's Pete Fighter 2 and I's uh, channel. Uh, we are both uploading content to it and it's all about anything DUI anything at all DUI not just like woodworking and stuff but uh, Pete is gonna from what he's telling me his projects his projects are gonna be a lot more on the electronic side of it um, refurbishing old electronics um, you know stuff like that mine is just gonna be like refurbishing stuff reusing stuff for the way it wasn't meant to uh, building things that I need around my house from scratch, um, you know, redoing old stuff, um, tweaking stuff to make it better suit my needs, um, and the whole thing is, we're, we, the whole thing with it is we don't have a lot of money, um, we don't have a lot of fancy tools, and we're just, um, gonna make do with what we have so uh, yeah that's the whole point of budget diy guys so i always hate driving past mcdonald's right here because the traffic gets crazy so all right well i am gonna let you go <laughs> it's a paint truck and it has decals on it and uh it looks like paint like paint spilled on the top of it and it's all running down the side but yeah i'm gonna let you go Oh, I gotta stretch. So, alright. Bye.